The series starts with a girl named Kamla. She has a Marvel related channel on YouTube. While recalling a game, she was telling that the Avengers would have lost the game if Captain Marvel had not come. She considers Captain Marvel to be the true hero and is a huge admirer of her. She also posted this video on YouTube. Meanwhile, Kamla hears her mother's voice. Along with her, she was taking Kamla for a driving test. However, Kamla failed in driving test and her parents find it hard to accept this. That Kamla can be failed because they have prepared her well. Kamla has only two friends, one of the boys named Bruno. She was just about to go see them meanwhile, her school teachers call her. Because Kamla was going through a hard time for a long nor her tasks were going well nor she was getting along well with her teachers. She spends most of her time daydreaming and thinking about the Avengers. For this reason, her teachers were urging her to be serious now. After coming out, she was discussing going to an Avengers party with her friend, Bruno. She made a Captain Marvel inspired dress for going there. As soon as she gets home, her grandmother sends her a parcel. There was a peculiar bangle in that parcel. Kamla's mother gets concerned as she observes this. She asks Kamla's brother to keep this in the storeroom. Kamla later goes to her parents for seeking permission to go to the Avengers party. Her parents clearly reject them, she becomes angry and goes to her room. Her brother appears and promises that he will surely permit her to go there. The next day, Kamla was checking Captain Marvel's outfit. Meanwhile, her mother comes and gives her permission to go to the Avengakan. However, she sets a condition that Kamla's father will accompany her. That's why she declines, though, to go there. Later, her friend Bruno approaches her when she was worried and he motivates her. Don't worry, a brown girl can also become Captain Marvel and save the world. When Kamla hears this, her mood turns good. The next day, they decide that they won't tell anything to Kamal's parents. Kamla will attend a Vangakan as well. Along with this, Kamla takes the bangle from the storeroom that her grandmother has sent for her. After facing several difficulties, she finally arrives at a Vangakan. After going there, when Kamla wears these bangle bracelets, she starts to get weird powers. Everyone became impressed to see Kamla's powers. These powers suddenly grew stronger, and chaos starts there. Kamla didn't allow anyone to get hurt, but it was time to go back home. She leaves right away for home, but she was already too late. When Kamla reached her room, her mother was already there. She insults her a lot and gets angry at her. Later, the scene shifts to two detectives. They received the video in which Kamla used her powers. They start preparing their plan for getting Kamla here. Later, when Kamla goes to school, everyone was praising to see that video. Nobody was aware that Kamla was there in Captain Marvel's dress that day. Because she had worn a mask, and no one recognizes her due to her mask. For this reason, another girl in the school became famous. She'd help Captain Marvel, in fact, Kamla. After school, Kamla was trying to understand her powers. She learns that these bangles aren't powerful. In fact, after wearing this, her abilities are revealed. It denotes that it was only a source. She goes to a party with her friends and sees her crush Cameron later. She goes crazy when she sees him. Police raids at the party later. All of them come out with Cameron's help. Kamla receives Kamran's phone number as he is leaving Kamla was now overjoyed to receive the number of her crush. At dinner, Kamla's father was telling a story about his grandmother. That she once suddenly vanished and then returned to her father. As they converse, Kamla's bracelet starts to glow. She experiences an odd vision and after seeing it she faints. Kamla asks her mother about her grandmother on the day of Eid. Her mother didn't tell her anything and rebukes her. In the next scene, we see the girl who has gained fame because of Captain Marvel, Kamla. The detectives bring her along as a result, to know about Captain Marvel, Kamla. On the other side, when Kamla notices a child hanging from a building. 
She tries to save him after wearing Captain Marvel's outfit. Kamala saves the boy but she suddenly has a vision of that lady. She becomes uncontrollable and the boy was falling down. He was saved and another problem was ready. Kamala was surrounded by detectives. She makes use of her powers and then leaves. Cameron arrived there later while taking his car. Because she had no other choices, Kamala sits in Cameron's car. She sees the woman she had seen in her visions after getting into Cameron's car. This lady was no one else but Cameron's mother. She tells a story from the past that happened. Your great grandmother and I once had a friendship. We both have saved that magical bangle hardly after fighting with the army. Additionally, we both are not from the planet that you called Earth, rather we are from another planet. Its people have exiled us and we have arrived on your planet. People refer to us as ghosts and we don't get older. Here, Kamla learns why she perceives herself as different because she was a ghost as well. The scene then changes to Kamla's house. The preparations for her brother's wedding began there. Her uncle comes up to her and explains, "Humans aren't good or bad, instead, their actions determine if he is good or evil." After hearing this, Kamla decides she must assist others no matter what. Kamla after meeting her friend, Bruno tells him that she has to prepare a portal for ghosts with her bangle by which they can return home. Bruno tells her that this is a risky task and she must think and then take any decision. Kamla comprehends what Bruno has said. On the other hand, Kamla's mother is forcibly pressuring her to do this. because she doesn't want to wait anymore now cameron was concerned for kamla for this reason he comes to kamla before his mother's arrival and he tells kamla everything as a result kamla intentionally ruins her brother's wedding she then sounds an alarm and sends everyone outside so no one can be harmed there kamran's mother's team arrives there to kidnap kamla At first, Kamla was trying to hide from them, but when they attack Bruno, Kamla rags and after using her powers she counterattacks. Cameron was helping her as well. When Cameron's mother holds Kamla's bracelets, they both have a vision of a train. Before they could see more police arrived there and arrested Cameron's mother and her team. Kamla gets her grandmother's call when she gets home. When she informs her granny about the train vision, She tells her to come to Karachi immediately by taking her mom. As she meets with her grandmother, she starts questioning her. Grandma claims that being a ghost isn't a bad thing. The fact is that you are either on the side of good or evil. The following day, Kamla to get clarification on her questions. After wearing Captain Marvel's mask, Kamla goes to the station to learn more. because she believes that after going to the train station she would get her answers a boy attacks kamla there kamla and the boy have a tremendous fight there because kamla has gradually learned to control her powers after seeing the bangles in her hands the boy takes her at his place their leader tells kamla whose help you wanted to do they don't want to return home They want to destroy this bangle so they can occupy the earth and no one can stop them. The leader of that group trains Kamla so that she can understand her powers well and she can be prepared to fight with Kamran's mother's group. Now, Kamran's mother and her team escape from detectives. Arriving there, they attack Kamla and the leader. The leader dies during the fight with Kamran's mother. She attacks Kamla's bangle with a dagger. They travel into the past where the tale of the great grandmother Aisha begins. While escaping a British officer, Aisha was rushing through the forest. She kills the British officer and meanwhile Kamran's mother comes to Aisha. Aisha, though, believed she had changed. She neither wants to give her the bangle nor does she can let her harm her family. That's why she tells everything to her husband at night. After wearing her daughter the bangles she asks them to go far away so the group of the lady can't find them and she stays there alone to fight with her Aisha was reciting magical words and Kamla arrived there for this reason Kamla became upset to see Aisha because she was injured 
Aisha tells that my story ends here. And you must do whatever you want, later, the story shifts in the present times. They reveal that their portal has been opened. A woman from Kamran's mother's group was cheerfully entering. But after turning to ashes, she dies. Later, Kamran's mother moves because she was confident that she can control these powers. Kamla was trying to stop her but Kamran's mother didn't listen to Kamla. She enters the portal and she dies as well. The scene shifts to Cameron, who was having peculiar feelings. All of her mother's powers appear to have been transmitted to him. Later, we see Bruno, a friend of Kamla's. Cameron arrives at Bruno after escaping the detective. After becoming friends, he requests his help. Because he was unable to control his new powers. Meanwhile, a drone attacks them and destroys the storeroom under Bruno's house. Although they both managed to flee, the detectives were still chasing them. They were planning to place the whole city under lockdown. Kamla's friend calls her and tells her about the incident at Bruno's house. Kamla was going to assist her friends. Meanwhile, her mother arrives and offers her a Captain Marvel dress made by her. On the other hand, Bruno, having rescued Cameron, was fleeing the detectives. They eventually meet Kamla. She sees that Cameron couldn't control his powers and he is in terrible pain. They try to help Cameron. The detectives have placed the whole city under lockdown. Seeing this, Kamla seeks her Karachi friend's help who met her at the railway station. He asked her to arrive at a place where a man will try to protect them. Kamla hides in the school after taking Cameron. Her entire family and her friends came to save Kamla. By using their plan they try to deceive the detectives for a long. One of the girls calls her Instagram followers there. As a result, Kamla tries to take Cameron from there. Kamla tells Cameron that his mother has died. Cameron has turned evil and Kamla and Cameron fight there. She was making an effort to explain to Cameron. She was also protecting others from Cameron while doing this. Kamla tells Cameron, listen, don't make any mistake unintentionally for your regret ahead. Though it was challenging for her to do, Kamla has finally managed to save Cameron. She sends him with her station friend by saving him from detectives. Kamla becomes a heroine in eyes of her family and society. Her father tags her as M's Marvel. Kamla's bangle lights up in the movie's last scene, she teleports from her room to a place where Captain Marvel is seen. This season ends with this.